Today you're going to learn how to animate vertex. So let's go to edit mode. Let's select this cube, go to edit mode. And for example, let's create a vertex group. How we create a vertex group? First, we need to select some vertex, it can be one or more. Let's select this one and we have to go to this icon in data. And here we have this section called vertex group where we can create a new vertex group. And we have to assign the vertex that you want in this group. It's like a folder. So if I want this one, I select it and now I select this and I say assign. So this vertex is inside this vertex group. How I know it? If I click outside and I click select, it will show me which vertex is in this group. Perfect, we created our first vertex group. If you want, you can change the name. Let's call vertex one. And now let's go out of edit mode and let's add to this cube a modifier called hook modifier. And here we need to select an object to move this group. So let's create an empty, add empty plane axis. Let's move it with the G so we can see it, for example, here. And now I come back to the cube and I say use this object, the empty, to move this. Now, if we move this, it's not doing anything. Why? Because we need to select which group we want to attach. So we click here and we have the group we created. So now, if I select this, we are saying with this empty, move this group. So if I select this and I move it, this vertex now is attached to the empty. So we can animate this vertex creating keyframes in the location of this empty. For example, let's create a keyframe, go forward, and for example, let's do something like that and create another keyframe. And we have this animation. That's the base how to use hook modifier. Okay, now let's learn something cool. Let me delete this and let's delay the modifier. So let's go to edit mode. What you can do, for example, instead of doing all this process, is for example, let's create this group. We select, remember, we go here and let's create a new group. Let's assign. And now what you can do to go faster is to go to vertex and go to hooks. And you can click here to create a new hook attached directly to this group. So now we have a hook between the position of this group. And if we come back to object mode and select the cube, go to modifiers. Remember, we delayed the modifier. So now we have already the hook here with the modifier. We only have to select the new group. So now if I move this empty, I'm moving these two vertex. So to go faster, remember, I'm going to delete all this. Under the modifier is to go to edit mode. For example, let's select this one, this one, this one, and this one. And to go faster, it's Ctrl H, hook to new object. Then I go here and I select, actually, let's update the new group. We can update, for example, assign. And now remember, I click outside, I click select to see what is selected. Perfect. And now I go to object mode. And moving this, we can create this animation. A part of moving this, what you can do is to rotate the rotation of the empty. So if I press R, I can move it like that. Or for example, R plus Z. So I can create this animation, for example. Or what we can do is to scale, not just move it. So for example, what we can do is to create an animation with this scale. And now we go, for example, zero. And we have this animation. So you can do a lot of things with the keyframes of the empties. Also, you can add as many hooks as you want. Let's go to edit mode. For example, let's select this part. Let's select wireframe. Select this, create a new group. And, and control H, new hook. And let's select this and create a new group and control H to create a new hook. Let's come back to object mode, select the object 
go to modifiers, and now we have two different hooks. So for example, this one, I want the group first, and this one, the second. So with two empties, I'm controlling two different parts of the object. Also, if you want to change the influence of the movement, you have to select here strength. So this basically is saying I want less influence. So it's like not being attached in the center, like this one. So remember, you can add as many hooks as you want and animate whatever you want of these hooks to create cool animations.